So the okay. way that I do my drops so that I don't have a lot of shaking is I hold it with two hands and drop the drop in the exact same location every time if I can. And that just kind of eliminates any variables that you would have when you're holding the extended pipette in your hand. Mr. Sauer has plain water and I have soapy water. Can you see the difference in how the water is mounding up and sticking together? You also don't want your drops to fall from a large distance. 50, 51, 52. Oh. Oh. So you go ahead and see if you can beat 52. That's good. That's perfect. Because okay. then you the toothpick will drag it right on. Okay. So then we can drag him. There we go. And he's still a sphere and they're all touching each other. But we can move them around a little bit. Kind of like Terminator 2. Now, if I use soapy water, I'm going to use the same. same um, bubble of water that I've been using, I'm gonna dip my toothpick into soapy water. Now, when I put my toothpick onto that same bubble, it just kind of all flattens out and spreads. Those bonds break and I no longer have that dome of water I originally had, so I can't pull them around like I did to begin with. So there we go, it's all spread out and flat on that piece of wax paper. So this is showing the high surface tension again of the uh, water molecule and how they're really crowded together at the top because of the cohesion of that molecule. You should be able to float a paper clip. If you just are a little bit patient, take your time. Be able to float it. <laughs> it's been a minute. We've been out of school for five months. And there you have it. He okay, floats. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Watch this. Okay. We add one drop of soapy water. And gone. And it gone. And it gone. All right. So here we're doing the salt water test for drops on a penny. Do you think that because we're doing this, we're getting more proficient at dropping